ponderosa pine. The scientific name is Pinus ponderosa. Ponderosa is Latin for heavy or massive, which refers to the very large size that ponderosas get at maturity. Um, this is a good example here. You can see sort of the, the smaller size, and then this one you can just see the large trunk and goes to the tall canopy. We see ponderosa pines in the foothills and mountains of Colorado, typically up to about 9,000 feet. And on a warm day, if you go up and smell the bark of a ponderosa pine, a lot of people think it smells like butterscotch or vanilla. The packages of needles on ponderosa are in groups of two or three, which is a really good identifying characteristic for the ponderosa. Other clues include needle length and bark type. The ponderosa pine needles are pretty long and they're usually about three to five inches long. If we look at this bark, we see on an older tree that it's kind of reddish with large, almost hand-sized plates. The ponderosa pine cone is large and attractive with open scales that are armed with a short spine. Cones can be used in decorations and are easily handled if the spines are first filed off. The ponderosa is a really valuable specimen tree. It can reach 45 or more feet when mature and it has a broad, rounded shape with a spreading crown. The ponderosa occurs all over Colorado in the foothills and mountains, and it's a sustainable choice that requires little to no additional water after establishment in conditions that are, approximate its natural habitat. The ponderosa pine is naturally adapted to Colorado's drought-prone climate, so in a managed landscape, it can be considered drought-tolerant. The ponderosa is also a valuable lumber tree.